Okay, you can see the uh, Sanyo plus 130 is all back together now. I hadn't planned on doing a third video. Um, I'd showed it working in the last one, but I thought, uh, oh, what the heck, it's in such nice condition, especially the cabinet. I'll do one final video so you can see it. So, you know, there's the cover. And like I say, also the ends, also in very nice condition. The only real, I wouldn't even call it damage, just a little bit of cosmetic flaws. A little scratch right there and right there. That's about the extent of damage on this thing. Are those little minor scratches, and you, and you have to be just at the right angle to even see those. Um, now, the cover was dull. Now, this is not wood. It's, it's a wood cabinet, but it, it's plywood, but it's not veneer. This is actually a vinyl decal. I don't know why they couldn't put re real veneer on there instead of just using a vinyl decal, but kind of the giveaway is, you notice how the grain, if you follow a line of grain, it just follows right around to the other side, and there's no seam right here. So it's clearly a vinyl decal, but it was a little bit dull. And you can see it actually has reflection now, nice and shiny. And uh, something any, anyone can get pretty much anywhere, even your local grocery store. Um, the polish covers like this, real wood, doesn't matter. Painted covers, I don't care what they're made out of. Um, and it's a good protectant, and don't laugh at me, but shoe polish. Yes, you heard me right, shoe polish. Been using this stuff since I was a kid. Used the black for years on a daily basis when I was in the Army back in the 80s and early 90s. Um, but shoe polish, it's nothing more than wax, basically, with a dye added to give it some color, which makes it great for polishing stuff like this. Real wood cabinets, or like I say, even painted. The black works great for uh, black painted, or even if you have stuff like... Uh, you know, CB radios, they had metal covers that had, like this, had a vinyl decal on them that's black, kind of like a marbly texture. The black's great for cleaning cleaning those up and uh, actually getting rid of sun fade on covers like that. But, uh, you know, very easy to apply. It takes you less than a minute to smear it all, basically all over this cover. Let it dry for a minute or two, and then just buff out with a rag. And gives it some good protection, so, you know... Be protected for several more years to go, and it's in such nice shape, you might as well keep it clean and protected. So, you can see what I had originally showed when I, the video first started was I was showing how the three power level ranges work. Now, one thing I had said in a previous video, I think I might have said, was the mute function. I don't know why they really had it on this. Actually, on this stereo, that's actually kind of a handy feature because. This has detents as you're turning around. It's not smooth. It actually has you know little ball bearings, spring in there. It's gonna so it's got detents. And if you want to listen at a really listen at a really low level, it's actually you know either nothing or I'm not gonna say it's excessive, but if there's no way you can get to that whisper quiet sound. Well, if you turn the mute function on, of course that adds 20 dB of attenuation to your volume setting. So Gives you a lot more range on the low end for fi basically fine-tuning your volume level. So you see you can get to that whisper quiet stage. We barely, I don't know if that will even show up in the camera, it's so low now. But you know, there's without the attenuation. And with attenuation. So like I say, it's actually turns out to be a nice little feature. Um, like I say, I think one of the coolest features of these radios is uh, the indicator right there moves, you know, from one end to the other. And this has, of course, a higher end stereo has a nice heavy feel. The tuning knob on the inside has a big cast iron, you know, weight on it. So you can get, let's see how far I can get her to spin in one turn. Yeah, it's got a you know basically about two and a half to three spins at a knob. You can get it from one end of the dial to the other. Now, for an antenna, 
I don't actually have an in, a real antenna hooked up to it at the moment because like I say I wasn't going to do a video so I did actually all I have hooked up is a piece of wire with an alleg a single alligator clip goes up there that's it that's 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 the antenna for the FM right now it's basically just about a three and a half four foot piece of uh, silicon test lead wire and you can see all the stations it's picking up Yeah, we'll be coming up to the country station. It's yeah, right there. Basically, I'm sitting on top of. You can see. You can turn the knob here. It's buried. So. So, all back together, um, ready to go back, get boxed up securely for the customer, ship back to them, and be ready for years and years more of listening pleasure. <laughs>